Speaking of that mission, this morning we are getting you ready for that big launch. And to talk about it, we have a special guest joining us, NASA astronaut Zena Cardman. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Yeah, so there's obviously a lot of excitement. We are considered here in Huntsville the rocket city. Can you talk about the work that's gone into getting this rocket ready to launch? Absolutely. Gosh, it's hard to summarize. There are so many different groups at so many NASA centers and other places all across the country and across the world, actually, who have been working for literally years and in some cases more than a decade on some of the hardware that we're going to be flying. It's a really exciting time to see an actual moon rocket on the launch pad ready to launch in just a few days. But it takes all kinds of teams from engineers to people preparing the more human side of human spaceflight. So this is the first step towards putting the first woman and person of color on the moon. So what does that mean to you, knowing that you're a woman and you're an astronaut? I mean, wh how do you, does that make you feel? I feel incredibly excited and honored just to be working in an astronaut office that is getting ready to send people to the moon. And because our astronaut office looks much different than it did in the 1960s, just by that nature, we're going to be sending a real diversity of, of really competent, amazing astronauts to the moon. And that makes me so thrilled. It's, it's an amazing time to be part of this, this human spaceflight endeavor. And I want to ask you a personal question on, on what made you want to become an astronaut and, and be a part of this Artemis mission. Oh, yeah, gosh, it's different for every astronaut. For me, I always loved science. I wound up being a geoscientist, biologist as I was going through college. And I was really lucky that I got to do all kinds of research in amazing remote places, places like Antarctica. I loved the science side of it, but I also really liked the teamwork aspect and the operational side. And I grew to love that just as much as the science itself. And the opportunity to work in space seemed like the ultimate fieldwork teamwork endeavor. So here we are. Yes. Yeah, so we want to ask how it's looking for Monday because we know Mother Nature has to agree with us. So things seem to be lining up pretty well. Last I checked. Yeah, things seem to be going right along. And luckily, we have multiple options, multiple opportunities. So we'll stay tuned and see what happens. All right. We're so excited for this launch. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Again, launch day is scheduled for Monday morning.